Welcome to the Brady Bunch of Autism, your source for family, parenting, and all things autism and special needs. Created by our family for your family. Live from the Ed Asner Family Center. And now your hosts, Nava and Matt Asner. Good afternoon. This is the Brady Bunch of Autism. I'm Matt Asner. And I'm Nava Pasquitz Asner. And, and we're here on a Tuesday. What does that two. mean? Because it's Tuesday and it's 2 22 22. Is that a palindrome? It is. It is. It was not, a, well, yeah, I would, I would call that a palindrome. No, it's of not a palindrome. It is a palindrome. It is palindrome. It's the same front words as backwards. Huh? Well, I'm, I am European, so it's, it's in, in Europe, in it's Europe. a palindrome. So, um, well, we're going to actually have to stay up late tonight because. I want to actually be here on the 22nd hour, um, you know, and, and see what that's like. What, what time I, would that be? I think be? some energy is going to happen. Because we know your bedtime is very early. Well, ah. uh, oh, I see. In yes, Europe, yes, it yes. would start with 22. That's okay. true. Um, what did well, you ask me? I said your bedroom, your bedroom, your bedtime is very early. So what time is that? Uh, that's 10 o'clock. I think that's a little past your bedtime. It's past my it? bedtime. I'm so. I, so I become like, I become a morning person. I am a morning person now. I'm a morning person. Well, I'm. I could never be a morning person. I am a morning person. I, I wake and you've up. Given up coffee. Even. I've given. You're, I've you're given up every every and you're vice. Up coffee. Every vice I've ever had. Oh, that's sad. I've given up coffee now. What's next? Poor Maddie. I don't know. Cookies. You could mm -hmm. never give up. I don't that. think I could ever give up cookies, but you know, coffee. You know, I don't know. I think I think I it's had to okay give up to have because, because, some vice. You can't give up cigarettes, coffee, drinking. Well, the strangest thing happened, right? I, I'm I, I got sick last week. Was it last week? It was last week, right? I wasn't here last week. That's why we didn't have a show last week. I was sick, and part of the uh, part of that sickness was that it wasn't COVID. It was just some weird reaction I had to some medication I was on, and um, I, I as part of that I. I actually became absolutely revulsed by the smell of coffee. Oh, that's right. And I or kept repulsed, saying, that's repulsed. what happens when you're pregnant. <laughs> I know. So we you thought, like, I must so I did take a pregnancy test. It was negative. Um, but um, but it was, uh, it was weird. It was very strange. I, I, you know, I, I just, when I, when I, you know, ground the coffee in the morning, it was like. Nauseating. Yeah. Nauseating. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't deal with it. So the thought of drinking coffee to me is really not something that I want to do. Which is a big problem in our house because I don't know how to use the coffee machine. And so I'm literally a grizzly bear. In it's all morning. right. I, I make it for you. Mm. So this is tea. <sighs> Tightly. Um, so, yeah. So we, we, we it's been a busy couple of days um, at the center. We had an amazing thing happen on um on uh saturday night that we're going to show in a little bit um we had a, a surprise guest um, Should, we don't want to tell the surprise though no Let's surprise we, our audience we'll, we'll show it before we bring aviva on our first guest is going to be and our only guest is going to be aviva pascos who's the art director here at the at hesner family center uh and she's going to put us through the grinder and um make us do a uh uh, a craft. So this well, is kind of a it's a hybrid show because it's kind of like an Aviva craft show and a Brady Bunch of Autism show. So we're going to be doing both shows at once. Well, we want to let our community know that we're reopening again. We too. are, and we're we're kind of debuting our first class that we're um, for our grand opening is on March six. It's going to be like a, an all Aviva day on March six, and we're going to start with uh, fine art with Aviva and then we're going to have um, a little break in between and then our fun times which is a all abilities um, arts and crafts and just seasonal fun arts and crafts and Aviva is going to um, give us a little example of that later on but that is going to be as on Sunday now and last um, last year we did it on Thursday so you really could feasibly come um, in the morning and spend the entire day with art director Aviva Pasquitz. <laughs> Sounds cool. 
I know. Uh, and to get more information on that? Reach out to Blanca, B-L-A-N-C-A, at T-E-A-F-C dot org. Okay. So um, I, it's Tuesday, so we can talk a little bit about what we're watching, right? So yeah. It's kind of what we do on Oh, Tuesday. we watched something last night that actually, that's why I'm a little today. Because I had horrible night terrors all night after watching Nightmare Alley. Oh, Nightmare Alley, yeah. yes. Horrible. And, and I was like, what did we watch last night? I don't remember. <laughs> every one of my dreams, I was like chain smoking. In every one of my dreams last night, I was chain smoking. It was very scary. And I thought uh, it was a great film. I loved it. it I was... loved it. And and some incredible actors. Yeah. I mean, like Bradley Cooper. I thought Mara Rooney, the best performance of her life. Wait, no, Rooney Mara. Mara Rooney. What did I say? It's Rooney Mara. Oh, okay. Um, you went, you went but backwards. reunited with her. You went, you went the European version. The European version. Reunited word. with her um, Carol co-star, too. That's right. And Kate Blanchett is oh, in it. Yeah, um, she was amazing. And the, and the um, costumes were amazing. Uh, uh, Jenkins. Uh, Richard Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It, so it, it's, it's, it's really an amazing movie. It's, you know, it's kind of, it's about a grifter that, you know, who learns how to, you know, do this wonderful psychic act that. And you said that it, it's from the original. 40, the original original film, I think, was made in 48, 49, mm -hmm. maybe a little later. Um, it was kind of a film noir film. Um, great. That was a great film. And but I actually liked this one better. I actually thought hmm. this one had a better ending. So I haven't seen the original one. This one had a better I'm ending. Excited. Well, we'll to watch see that. We'll, we'll watch that. But and I got Matt into Euphoria, which I, I'm very excited. That, that that's he, just an amazing show. I just uh, I I try not to think about it, and we're going to have a Vivon soon. But I try not to think about her being in high school because now all I think about is that it's Euphoria days. But Aviva's long out of high school, so her Euphoria days are over. I well, she was never like they were in Euphoria. But no, is it, it, it? That's an amazing show, and it's not for the faint of heart, for no, sure. No, it's very, um, nor very is, nor heavy is Nightmare subjects. Alley. Very um, heavy, heavy subjects. But great, great show, great performances. Zendaya is uh, is amazing. And we watched the Olympics nonstop. We did. We watched a lot of the Olympics. We, and, oh and, my God! What? And we kept we 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 never did get the kids to watch with us, but we were hoping. No. We kept every night. We were we were like, "Come watch the Olympics." Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not interested in that. Um, but um, what a, what a bunch of drama the figure skating was. Yeah, was, I still. I mean, to me, uh, I I just I've never seen anything in my life like um, like the second place. I mean, what she did to me was the most incredible performance of. I mean, it was just. The girl, I can't pronounce her name, but the girl who got second place. Right. I thought. Russian. I I, I mean, if, it, if I was the judge, I would have given her first. I see why the first I think she one, felt the same way you did. Yeah. Because she was really upset. Yeah. But, um, um, you know, I used to compete. And I know that when you know you've done the best you've ever done and you've done so many more maneuvers. put it all out there. Um, it's hard to take second. I, I never got second. Like she said, remember what she said? That's that. That's I agree with that. If you, she if said, you, there's no second. There's first place, there's, and then there's, there's nothing losing. else. Then there's losing. Oh, she said that. I think she said yeah. then there's losing. So, um, yeah. So it was fun. The uh, the Olympics uh, always are fun. I enjoy watching them. Um, but um, so okay, let's go back to Saturday night. So Saturday night. Well, Chelsea um, has her very popular social club that she's turned into this amazing thing. It's sold out every week and every week they watch a different uh, TV show or movie. And her group is just absolutely such a close tight knit group of, uh, I say kids, but they're all teens and adults. And uh, so they were talking about their favorite SpongeBob episodes and they were in the midst of, you know, telling each other their favorite episodes and all the kids are, making voices of SpongeBob and, and the various characters. And then all of a sudden Chelsea says, uh, should I say what she says? Is that the one? I don't yeah. think that's one. Think that's, that's the one. Okay. Oh no, we don't have the reveal. I don't have the reveal. Oh man. I don't have the reveal. I don't, wow. I, I apologize. I don't have the reveal. I have uh, I have later. So we can actually say who it is now because well, Chelsea, I, I screwed up and I have yeah. the wrong one. 
Matt, Matt Bullock. But Chelsea says, okay, I think we have another chatter who's joining us. And then all of a sudden, uh, Clancy Brown comes on as Mr. Krabs. First, it's a uh, Mr. Krabs and he does the voice and all the kids just went crazy. They were all, it was wonderful. Just uh, over the moon. And one, one guy shouts out, you're my childhood Clancy. <laughs> you're my childhood. It was a wonderful, was wonderful great. moment. And we're hoping that we can have more wonderful moments like that. Um, so check in, you know, check out uh, movie chat. Movie chat. It is full. So I think it's a first come first yeah. serve type of thing. You have to sign up during the week. And, and and do they reach out to Shelby? Yeah. Shelby at, uh, at asnerfamilycenter.org. That's uh, if you want to be a part the of the email. And, uh, and, you know, it's fun. It, uh, there are two of them, right? I think what they're going to do is um, our, our, uh, our friend from camp, Hannah Schindler, uh -huh. is going to be doing um, one version and then Chelsea's going to be doing another version and they're doing different uh, levels of scary. Some Hannah's doing less scary movies. Chelsea, I think, is doing more intense movies. And they're, they're, both, they're each going to co-host each segment. So if you want more information about that, definitely reach out to Shelby, S-H-E-L-B-Y at at asnerfamilycenter.org. So we're going to, well, the clip we're going to show, and then we're going to bring Aviva on, and we're going to, you know, show you how inept we are at art. Or I, you're great at art. I, I'm inept at art. <laughs> um, so um, this is um, Clancy talking to the gang, and uh, and it's just a sweet, nice clip that we're going to show you from our movie chat on Saturday. Uh, and when we come back, Aviva Paskowitz is going to be joining Yay. us. Yay. So here's Clancy Brown. Our movie chat crew had a special visit from Mr. Krabs himself, Clancy Brown. What's the deal with him being obsessed with money? I don't think he really does. I think that's just kind of what he where he's comfortable. Like when he gets uncomfortable, you'll see him like just talk about money. Money makes him feel better and stuff. Money calms him down. But I think I think he loves SpongeBob and Squidward, although he'd never say it. He certainly loves Pearl. Uh -huh. And he might love he might love uh, Mrs. Puff too a little bit, uh, you know. But but money just makes I think money is just kind of, you know, like a like a cuddle toy for him. You know what it's I mean? It's a coping mechanism. Yes, exactly right. Coping mechanism, perfectly right. Because you know I'm on the autism spectrum, and anything that makes me calm, like video games or family, so that's why I was asking. But yeah, well there it's you really go. Good I mean, answer. You know, yeah, some people count it. Some people just like to count it. He's always counting it, and you know, he's, it just makes him feel better, I guess. Yes. So that's why he wants it. I just, I'm just curious. Well, thanks so much for taking time to talk to me, and of course, answer the question. I love sure. SpongeBob, and again, it's a pleasure to meet you, and an honor to meet you. And it's thanks my so pleasure much. And honor. It's my pleasure and honor. That is so Yay, cool. You know what I love? <laughs> and it's Aviva. It's me. You know, yeah. you know what I we love? love Clancy. You know what I love about about him it is how respectful and and sweet he is. Yeah. You know, and he, how he's, sweet that that participant said. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like a coping mechanism. Uh, you know, like almost stimming yeah. coping mechanism, whatever really you want to call moment. it. I love Clancy. He was on my character drawing show. He was your oh, guest. Right. I know. Yeah. I forgot he about surprised that. me. I was like, <laughs> no one told me that Clancy was going to be on my character drawing oh, show when yes. I was teaching everyone how to draw <laughs> Mr. Krabs. And I hear like a, oh, what's going on? Yeah. And then I'm like, Matt, turn your video on. Yeah, and then I, I look that. up and I'm like, oh my God. Hello. Yep. You thought it was Maddie being loud. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like usual. Let's. Is that I was being. Always trying to chat to me during the show. Okay. But All right, so, hello. So Here again, we are. we are talking today about fun times with Aviva, and yeah. this is this is so, just a little snippet of what you could do. Yes. At if you want to sign up for the fun times with Aviva class, which is going to debut on Sunday, um, 11, March six. Oh. And it's good. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, from 11.30 to 1 is our painting class. And from, from 1.30 to 2.30 is our fun times class, which is all craft based. Um, we could talk more about it, but like seasonal crafts. And right. Such. And that the, the, um, the fun times class is for all abilities. And um, 
you just reach out to me and let me know if for any reason you want your child to go or teen or adult to go to both classes, we can accommodate them um, to stay at the center, to give them a nice snack um, and just stay for, the, you know, that's some serious Aviva time. That's some serious <laughs> well, socializing time mostly time. because yes. I mean, we all are craving some social time Interaction, right now and yeah. why not spend your entire Sunday like being creative at the center with all of your friends, listening to music, having a great time. Dancing. Well, well, not so much dancing. Well, we can have like a, a dance break. I'm, I'm open to anything. Yeah. <laughs> dancing makes everything better. I know. Maybe we could like start it off Big with a warm-up. Big dancer, warm, warm yeah. um, so, Nijinsky. Yeah. What are we doing? Okay. We could talk about our craft today. Yeah. This is, like my mom said, a little taste test of what we are going to be doing on Sundays. This is just like a quick and easy one that you can even do at home if you have the materials. Um, we are going to be doing... a oil pastel watercolor resist. So basically Ooh. we are doing, using only two materials today, I guess not including the paper. Um, we are going to be using watercolors and a white oil pastel and some really nice sturdy watercolor paper. It's really uh, important. I, I think that. we're also using a paintbrush. We're also using a paintbrush? Oh, okay. It's a water. You want to get technical? Is, Mav is getting a technical. Your nails are incredible, oh, by the way. Thank you. For I always uh, hope that people can't see my, it's, okay. it's one of my coping <laughs> mechanisms, okay. biting Let's my nails. get down to it, okay? You guys ready? Yeah. So what we're going to start out with is we have a great piece of paper here. What I like to do for all the friends at home that want a nice clean border on your picture, always get a nice piece of painter's tape and line your edges. It's super simple and it really gives your uh, painting a nice clean finish. It looks yeah. like a frame almost. I know, it gives Mine you a frame. Mine has my name on it. I know, I, I labeled them for you both. So what we are going to start off with, you guys can do it along with us at home if you're rewatching it later on, grab some materials. But we are gonna actually start with our oil pastel today. So okay. you're gonna grab that. And um, you might not see it at first, but you're gonna start drawing whatever you like on your paper. So, okay. yeah, why don't you bring it in a little closer so everyone can see what you're drawing. Yeah, so as you go, you won't be able to really see your drawing, but it's all about the surprise in the end. We've done this project a bunch of times during camp. It's a big, um, big hit here at camp because it's kind of like a surprise in the end. Of what it's going to be. Yeah, you, know. you can always use other colors as well. I think it's just a little bit more fun and exciting to have this white surprise. Um, kind of show up, but I decided not to draw a picture, and I'm just doing kind of a sign. Well, you know, you know, just because it's a pattern doesn't mean that it's not a picture. You know, you are making your own design, your yeah. abstract art. I feel good about my design. I'm, I'm happy you feel that way. I'm <laughs> I actually that you bring up a great point because I tell all of my students here at the center that you know one of the most important parts about art is that you love what you've made. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what anyone else's opinion is, art is supposed to be a creative outlet and feels good. If you enjoy what you made, then that's all that matters. Well, I went with a feeling. Are you done? Well, there you go. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, done. I'm done. Okay. okay. So we can't really see what their drawings are, but why don't we um, let's see what you guys did. Let's make that surprise kind of show. So you guys can take your oil, your uh, brush, your uh why am I, my loss of words here? Crayola paints. <laughs> By the Crayola company. Our wallet. I would colors. love to sponsor the Ed Asner yeah, sponsor family us center. Crayola. Um, but you're going to take your big, we have a thick paintbrush here. Mm. If, you're color, if you're painting into a big area, you want to make sure you're using a larger paintbrush to make it easier on yourself. And then we so just color, painting. do we? Whatever color you'd like. This is oh, wow. totally up to you. Should we do different colors? Whatever you'd like. Okay. Whatever you you're drawn to, you know. So just like how Matt's doing, you can start to see that because of the oil in the pastels, it's resisting and kind of making that beautiful pattern that you just made show through. Do you have to put really serious, like strength on the color? Uh, when you're at uh, dipping into your palette mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I think when you're using watercolors, you definitely do want to get it going a little bit at first. So you want to just like 
kind of rub your paintbrush oh, I might have there. to do it all this one is, color. This is, this is amazing. I had an idea, but that's not I, I yeah, really usually like you want to this... just add a bunch of different tones into it because I see you're starting to like section off your work, but it's great to just like add a, a nice hue to the entire thing. I love what you made, Mom. This is really good. If I had a, I think I was overthinking it that I was able to. You like mine? Maddie, just <laughs> because I'm, I'm complimenting Mom mine's does nice. not mean mine... that yours is any less beautiful. Mine's nice my, too. <laughs> my, my gain is his loss. Mine's nice Here, too. Here, try adding a little bit more water to your paintbrush. I always tell my students that if it's a little, if you can hear that scrapey noise, it means that your paintbrush is kind of thirsty. It needs a little bit more water. Hmm. Add, add a couple more tones so we can really see your, your drawing too. What do you, there what? you go. That looks great. Matt. You're giving her all the direction. I, well, well, uh, you wow. look. You, I, I'm, so I'm, I, you look so confident the way that you're putting your colors down. I love it. it I told you it was a feeling. I know. Well, it seems it like a, you're confident. I went right through the here. whole thing right <laughs> when I was sitting here, right before you got it. I'm like, oh my god, art. What am I gonna do? Oh and wow. And then I kind of just, you know. <laughs> Oh, look, it's disappearing. Oh, you know what? It's because it's the green it's and green. the green screen. It's turning no one into will Hawaii. Ever be able to see it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You, you guys are going to. Boy, that's it. really impressive. My, <laughs> mine is really impressive. Yeah, yours is really. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, my yeah, gosh. That's right. But like I was saying, this is a great project that you can do. I've seen a lot of people do this during the winter seasons and take their oil pastel to make a snowflake, adding blue tones in the back. Um, a really fun project you can do with lots of colors. You know, well. Viva, once I'm done with this, mm -hmm. I will sign it for you. Oh, my and gosh. And you can hang it on your wall. Or I can sell it on eBay. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. That's an MFT or whatever oh, that's called. Oh, yeah, I'll make it into an NFT. N oh, M that's a good M idea. N what is it? M N N F T N F T N F T. I saw non -fungible, non fungible uh, token. token. I don't understand what that. It's okay. You're not meant to understand. Ooh, <laughs> mansplain, what? mansplain 101. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys did such a great job. I'm not done. Okay, you take your time. Every artist takes the time that they need. You know, every. I, I love it. Looks really oh, good. Purple. But so you guys can do this project at home. You know, our Sunday classes are not just painting in the mornings, but like I said, there's crafting in the afternoons. We during the winter seasons, it's so many great like, oh, <laughs> look at your green see there. But that looks so great. You guys look here. Show show the show the camera. Mom's is very intimate. Hey, Mine's a little more abstract than yours. I love it. You guys both did a great job. I don't job. think you can see what I... But um, here, oh. we can bring it up a little closer. But now is one of the best parts where you can, you know, take off your oh. tape. We don't have to do all this right now. But see, this this is what happens when you don't, like, fully take all the sticky bits off. But really Ooh. just an example on how you can oh, get wow. a nice clean edge. Whoops. Yeah, that's it's, oh it's, neat. A uh, way that you can avoid oh, is kind so of ripping your paper is some people like to put their tape on their skin first to get like a layer of stickiness oh, off. That looks so cool. Though. Yeah, but it really cleans up your your look at that. Painting. Yeah, and it leaves room for you to sign your name, date it. It's always important to sign your work. Yeah. Beautiful. That's the satisfying part of the painting. But um. That's our project Cute. today. Well, this is your uh, belated Valentine's present, Maddie. Oh, how great! Thank you. And in your Aww. picture, you have long hair. <laughs> yes, I always have all my Prince Valiant. Prince Valiant. It turns into the guy from Outlander, or maybe Very The good. Witcher. Well, that's like on par for Clancy, I can pretend. right? Oh, I, was, I had such a crush on Clancy when I was a kid when he was in Highlander and he played the Drax. Uh, what, what a great way to Kraken? follow up your Valentine to that, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if only you uh, look like Clancy Brown uh, in the Highlander. Sorry. All right. Well, uh, that's it for me, folks. So if you want to cool. be doing something this fun on Sunday, starting March 6th, please reach out to Marta uh, at reach out to Marta. Reach out to Blanca. Okay, you got some Marta. Sorry, I have 
I have a headache, and so I'm so, not thinking so. so Blanca now, at Ed Azer Family and, and our Donald. classes no, start Blanca at eleven thirty. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're all we're we, we, we've that. been boozing. Uh, so it's going to be starting at eleven thirty. There we go. And eleven thirty to one is fine art with Aviva, and then we'll have a little break, and then one thirty to two thirty is um, all abilities, fun times, art, and seasonal art and crafts. Yeah. We provide snacks as well, so don't feel like you're going to starve throughout the couple of hours of being at the center. And Samantha Churchill thought your thing was beautiful. Samantha Churchill and I are related. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. From Mama. Nava Churchill. No. No. That's on the Amma side. Oh, right. All right. She's uh, the <laughs> daughter of one of Amma's first cousin. Or... Oh. All right. So we are done with our show. Thank you, Aviva, for coming by. You're welcome. And let it, letting us being, be artistic. And I'm excited to kind of hang this on my wall and say I did that. Because it looks yeah. like something. Be proud of yourself. I am proud of my I'm proud of my work. Good. Are you proud of your work, Nava? Uh, I could have done better. Well, there's always room for improvement. Yes. And maybe this is just your rough you draft. Have to, you didn't sign yours. I have to but. sign mine. So, um, yeah. So we're going to be back a bit later this week. On and don't forget... Two twenty two twenty two thousand and twenty two. Yep. And one of the ways that made no sense, but one of the ways that you can help us continue offering low and sometimes even no cost mental health support is by making a donation today. It's not going to be this date for another four hundred years. So I heard that, right? that this day is wow. called the mirrored day. So any good energy that you put out will come back to you throughout the rest Tenfold. of the year. So you know, there wasn't donate. all this excitement. I got to say there wasn't all this excitement when I turned. I don't know how old I was, but um, on my birthday in nine on nine, nine ninety nine. That was my birthday. And there wasn't all this excitement. I remember MTV had a billboard on Sunset Boulevard that said nine nine ninety nine because the MTV Music Awards. Was oh, set. okay. Are you so, expecting your name? On but the that billboard? was a very, very special. <laughs> I mean, that's year. special. That was a very 9, special. Nine ninety nine is special. That was the year Maxi was born. So that was a very oh, spe okay. special. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh. See. Ooh, see everyone makes mistakes <laughs> so <laughs> thank you guys for joining us we'll right. see you on thursday for another episode of the brady bunch of autism and catch my shows crafting on aviva on mondays and and we'll and be much more drawing. serious on thursday character drawing is in a little bit so come oh yeah check, watch check live we're, 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 drawing, we're drawing garfield okay see you bye. thursday Keep your seatbelt fastened.